check, check, check. Works. We're testing the new been some modifications to the setup. Check, check, check. Let's see if this is going through. I think we're live. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I haven't set up any of the links or anything, but I have to welcome, welcome, welcome. Friday morning magic. The most fun you can have on this entire YouTube channel on a Friday morning. Good morning, Wizards. Wizard Creations got you loud and clear. Big shout out, Wizard Creations channel member, Wizard Creations. If you want to support the channel as well, make sure you check out the channel membership. The link is in every single video. It's not in one because I haven't set anything up yet. That's okay. That's okay. Good morning, everyone. We have so much to chat about this morning. It's going to be a wild ride. We have Outlaws of Thunder Junction starting to pop off. Ah, uh, Nick. What's going on, Nick? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have so much to talk about this morning. Outlaws of Thunder Junction about to pop off. We have those discussions to have. We have spoilers to review, and we have some indie TCG stuff to talk about. So let's not delay. Let's get into it without further ado. This is gonna this is gonna be a good one. I gotta say, I'm excited for this morning. This this morning's gonna be this morning's gonna be a lot of. Make sure we didn't bop anything over here. There we go. If you are joining the channel, if you have never been here before, if you are a returning viewer, make sure that you let me know in the comment section below so I can say what's up, tell you guys good morning, and we like to kick our morning off just talking about Magic the Gathering Hangout. Today's going to be a shorter stream because, like we said, we have been playing with the setup and we are prepping. Prepping. We are doing more content than ever. I think we are set to put out nine videos today. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be crazy. Night Flux, welcome to our first live stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. Marcus Betts, OG Returner, thank you so much for tuning in. For those in the Discord, the coffee crew, let's see. Um, you know what? I'm gonna make an invite link just for this stream. Nobody, nobody, nobody tell anybody the link. It's super private. That right there. If you want to join the Discord. Make sure you click that. It's an open invite to the Discord. Invite your friends. Come hang out. Chat about Magic the Gathering and all of our favorite trading card games. And we have a Coffee Crew channel. And I have to update the Coffee Crew this morning. Because this is... This is a blend. This coffee is supposed to be some of the most caffeinated coffee. It's supposed... The whole thing is like, this is some of the most caffeinated, insane coffee. I don't think I'm ready for it, but... Oh, it's very bitter. Oh my goodness. Mindagas, good morning. Hello, thank you for tuning in. We have so much to get into. And like we said, shorter live stream today. So let's get into it. I got, I wanted a light roast. I I was going to go, for those who don't know, since we do have a couple new people. Yo, Greg, good morning. I normally go to Starbucks and grab a coffee. I was going to go with my wife. My daughter's having a rough day. She's having a rough couple days. She's getting her canine teeth right now. So we are just by the seat of our pants and hoping for the best most of the time. If I'm being completely transparent with all of you guys, we are just hanging in there and doing our best. Let's check out Laws of Thunder Junction numbers. And if we take a look at the total sales, right? okay, the set's getting started. We got some spoilers. We got the TCG player sale that we talked about on the channel. We got some stuff going on. The set is starting to kick off. It's starting to pop a little bit. Kick your toe. Toe. That it's starting to pop off. Belts are good for holding your pants. <laughs> Orgas bets my recent caffeine intake has been more inflated than Hasbro's 2022 print runs. That's such a great analogy, and it also hurts me directly in my soul. <laughs> Outlaws of Thunder Junction, definitely playing some catch up to do a little bit of comparison here. And I mean, actually, let's just, we're, we're close enough to release now. Let's take Outlaws of Thunder Junction and compare it to Murders at Karlov Manor, selecting the pre-release configuration. So this is what Murders at Karlov Manor pre-release looked like. Karlov Manor pre-release had a spike in boxes in January. If we recall, that was the uh, TCG player sale for play boxes, 129.99 that ended up being um, 
call it what it is, not the best deal in the world. And then through February and pre-release, sold a couple more boxes and then released to the public on 12.9. Well, if we see Outlaws of Thunder Junction released over a different span, not released early in the month, more of a mid-month release, but still moving fairly nicely. The best-selling products are the flip-flop here. We see Carloff Manor, our best-selling product, was that sale on that Play Booster. The best-selling product, Play Booster sale, kind of popping off. And the best-selling product here, obviously the Collector Booster, at the sale of a 199.99 now tcg player has since abolished abandoned that deal it's gone you can't get it anymore even though if i were to to make a guess it, let's blind guess i think our price is probably approaching that again let's find out let's find out together Ooh, outlaws of thunder junction made the first page and oh wow player zoomed in 300 percent wild as we can see we are approaching that price again at 209 we got some Ooh, you guys are gonna maybe see behind the scenes here a little bit we got some thumbnail tabs for making thumbnails for for videos and stuff still open Ooh, have you watched the opening yet the big cards are kind of hard to pull all mythic aside we're gonna get into that we're gonna get into the spoilers the singles and i'm actually kind of excited for the set, I'm kind of excited for this set. I want to look at some of those. Uh, said Canva. The lady Tommy said Canva. Uh, Mendigas, what do you think of the pre uh, the precon? I don't. Are you talking about precons or the price now? So either way, let me know. Let me know what you're talking about. The Thunder Junction Collector Booster Box recovering above the lows and also heading back towards the 220s is i gotta admit this wasn't on my bingo card this was not on my bingo card now don't get excited don't get excited we have a barrier we have the this 22 box seller top choice gaming that's sitting here this 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 blocker before we start getting you know back into the 220s but it may be people have really pulled back on their allocations of magic they're not just ordering everything they can get their hands on and we are sitting in a world where 22 boxes in Magic the Gathering selling at this price, not too bad. I have big news if you are a channel member. I will be offering some Outlaws of Thunder Junction. The problem is the prices are to be determined. Magic is so tight with their with what they charge for boxes that I want to make sure you can at least get your channel membership in a discount of things shipped to your door open on the channel. So make sure you join the Discord and watch out for that announcement. I'm going to do my best to make sure you at least get that discount, if not more. Anyone who's bought a box opening from me before knows I try to go as low as possible, baby. I'm selling this, the stuff to you channel members as low as I can. We'll do the same thing with Outlaws of Thunder Junction, but I don't want to make an official like price announcement or anything just for the couple people here because I'm so unsure of what that price point is going to be. All right. We've got, just like we said, sales and products moving. But the big surprise here, at least in my opinion, the big surprise is this box is holding. And I believe it's to something that we alluded to that Marcus pointed out in chat that the big cards are so hard to come by. And you get, I believe, more of the big score cards. The playable big scorecards, the standard legal playable big scorecards. Uh, I think that's I'm 99% sure that's a, that's the standard legal subset in the main set, which has six sets in it. Mm, irritates me, but I do think the stability of this product is a great sign. It's I, this was not again on my bingo card. Look at this price and compare it to something like. You know our our Karlov Manor prices that we looked at earlier. I just did not understand this this Karlov Manor play booster box, and we see over here the price just absolutely cratering, absolutely tanking. One hundred four dollars and three cents is the average price sold in April, up from one hundred three fifty seven in March. The number of boxes selling are just not impressive. But man, Thunder Thunder Junction looks like criticize magic and cowboy hats a lot but the so all in all the stability of the product did you guys see this being the stable i'll ask you i mean this is a live stream that's what we're here for we're here to chat you see this being this stable 
I got to admit, I did not. I did not see the stability of this product. I thought this was going to be a continuation of our rejection, essentially, of the Play Booster Box, which, again, I'm still on Team Play Booster Box. I think there are problems with the Play Booster Box that are not the box itself. They're not necessarily the cards in the box. I love the fact that we have a product for cracking packs and playing again. That is a massive win, in my opinion. I just think there are other problems. We saw it doing better than Karlov, right? Uh, if we're talking about the play booster, obviously doing much better than Karlov Manor. Karlov Manor play booster. Let's, you know, we'll we'll do. I mean, we can we can literally just go. Don't type the we don't type the M word on this channel and get demonetized. So here's the here's the problem with Karlov Manor play boosters, is they're so cheap, they're so cheap that still a good number of them sell every single day. Was, they still sell every single day. So I still, I'm a big believer in the play box, but we have literal examples of this thing going poorly. It's an overpriced draft box. I, I, I don't, with the popularity of set boost boxes and all of the products that we tracked in the past, I mean, heck, let's, looking at some popular magic releases of the, of the past, right? Let's take, uh, where'd we have? We still had set booster boxes here. We had set booster boxes here. Most sold products set booster box. The draft box wasn't even close. I mean, we saw this over and over and over again. Re th this movie kept repeating itself. The draft box is not even close. The set booster box just crushing the sales number. The community likes the idea of the set booster box. They do. They don't like the increased price point and the stigma that you're paying more than you used to for a set booster box. Now, people get stuck on that and they refuse to let go because like we're paying significantly less than we for a more versatile box. I think the issue is stuff like this is that's just bad. Screen Watcher! All the way from the East Coast, not the West Coast, but the East Coast. I don't know what the West Coast would be. You'd say Best Coast, East Coast is, I want to say least Coast because I like you guys. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome to the stream, Rob. Boom, Sama. Good morning. Thank you so much for hanging out this morning. Cheers to everyone. For those who didn't catch the introduction, those who missed out on the introduction, for those who weren't here for the introduction because the stream is starting at a weird time as I continue to kind of work through some of this, the new setup and things that we have changed in the Hometown TC Studios, I must tell you, I have this hyper-caffeinated coffee in-laws. It's one of their things. They buy me the most caffeinated coffee that they can find at the store. And as they give me this coffee, I try these various exotic, highly caffeinated beverages. They're not that good. I like... I could just up a black coffee and this is not a diss to the gift but like the extra caffeine had some like and i'm not a coffee out of sewer i'll drink it at the gas station air crazy bitter oh old war big mac good morning rona's riches first time seeing rona's riches on the stream good morning if you have never chatted in the stream before make sure you send a message let us know you're here let us welcome you with a community of open arms and if you haven't joined the Discord yet, link pinned in the chat. Discord's free for everyone. We will be updating the coffee crew. We are posting collections and having a ton of fun. Marcus says textures manager will have more baseline demand than oh, are you old? Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay, OTJ. Huckleberry magic count increased value delusional. Some same cards just wearing different dress. Of the new stand cards becoming the shoulder will be good for play box as well. Huckleberry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Open to the discussion, but not sure, not sure what you're talking about. So we'll get into it. Join the Discord, it'll be annoying constantly. Dude, I am down to talk Star Wars Unlimited. We're gonna be talking some Star Wars Unlimited this morning, but we had to get through uh updating the sales figures for Outlaws of Thunder Junction because things are going pretty well with the set. I'm 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 very impressed. So let's Let's see if we can find some spoilers here. I want to highlight a few things for Outlaws of Thunder Junction spoilers that I am super excited about. Ooh, Tommy said Star Wars Unlimited is GOAT. Okay. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. All right, the coffee sip has been acquired. The bitterness is racing through my system. Let's reset this. 
let's take a look at some of the spoilers now the big card it was spoiled in my discord big shout out i think it was i don't want was it ralph the gnome i don't want to give the credit to the wrong person who spoiled who spoiled oh it was ralph the gnome big shout out ralph the gnome channel member ralph the gnome also avid discord poster and keeping us up to date with everything going on ralph the gnome posted about the vault here this card looks like obviously there's some massive potential here right we all agree there's some massive potential with the vault here i i did not see a card like this coming in the set this this was not on my radar they they're clearly comfortable pushing the power level of some of these cards Mark says ralph the gnome is super knowledgeable yeah 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 100 so they're clearly pushing the power level this seems like the anti Karlov Manor. We have another Jit. Jit Hey. A whole new, uh, the best tweet. The best tweet. Best tweet I saw was now a whole new generation of magic players mispronounced this word. Because is it Jit? Is it Jit Hey? Is it Umizawa's Jit? Umizawa's Jit Hey? What is it? Who knows? All I know is this is the lost Jit Hey. I played when Umizawa's Jit Hey dropped. Oh my gosh art is so good i'm so excited i'm so excited to play with this card in standard again oh the callback the theme the versatility i i gotta tell you i am irrationally excited for this experience i'm not i'm not here to analyze this morning if it's better or worse given you know comparing the two metagames at the time i am here to tell you gosh i am going i'm just going to like like oh Blue one drop flyer. I don't know the name. Blue one drop flyer, turn one, turn two, Jitte, equip, dodge a cut down. Like, so, there's just so many lines. Test control hitting the, uh, hitting, what is it, the big score or the vault? I think it's the big score. Does anyone else? Okay, I have to ask. I have to ask. I need, I, I, I need honest answers. You're hearing about the story. You're not big score and vaults and wild west and deserts and sandworms and are you just getting borderlands vibes this set screams to me like it was supposed to be a borderlands ip and it just i cannot shake that thought i cannot get it out of my brain this set just feels like borderlands it has for so long and i'm finally saying it and getting this off my chest I cannot escape the Borderlands vibes of this set. It's 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 literally driving me crazy. It's driving me insane. Tommy says the train. Yeah, the train in the trailer. Like, things that, like, in my brain are going, oh, this is like, but wait, you played Borderlands way back when. I just, I don't understand it. It's, it's, it's just, it's driving me insane. Baron of TCG says, yep. Like, yeah, Marcus says, now you can't unseat. I'm telling you, you can't un... There's a handsome Jack with an Oko. Like, it's... I... It's... I cannot get it out of my brain. It's... It's just in... Finding the kid in the vault is so... Bo Thank you! Thank you. Okay. Back to spoilers. Sorry, I have... I had to get that off my chest. That was bugging me so hard. Oh, Okay. We do have a pest control. Destroy all non land permanents with the mana value one or less, giving us a turn two answer in standard to things like Oros Convoke. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is definitely a sideboard card if Boros Convoke stays super relevant. Sandro, happy Friday. Good freaking morning, Sandro. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. If the deck stays super relevant, it's, it's finally an answer to turn two gleeful demolition which admittedly is it's it's tough to deal with the problem is off a of turn two gleeful demolition generally you get to convoke a knight errant as well and like best control answers everything but the knight errant which isn't which isn't not great uh the card does have cycling on it so marcus hey hold on like i think cycling here is is big for this card i think sometimes you're going to draw it and you're not going to want it I, I love cycling on this card. I, I, I like I like cycling on this card because if I draw if I draw this turn four, my opponent hasn't popped off. I, I don't I don't want it anymore. So I'm I'm okay. 
whatnot or drew said whatnot's already selling thunder junction we have a bead on thunder junction hopefully we're going to do some thunder junction box opening soon on the channel but yeah the magic release cycle is crazy sometimes they just like release things way too early rest in peace cool card to be back in standard like that with all the graveyard shenanigans going on rest in peace feels like a good print here lotus ring gotta tell you gotta tell you not super high on this card mostly because it just feels like a commander card this this feels like a commander card mark is only bringing in what i want but it is also super situational right often i don't want to spend two mana later in the game killing one or two things if i've gotten to that point i've theoretically managed the board maybe i've cast one of these casted one of these already and i brought in two it does give me the ability to bring in more than two maybe bring three post board because then i draw a second one you don't want to see a second copy have the ability to ditch it and get rid of it so i the cycling doesn't feel like dead text to me, in my opinion it does not feel like dead text on the card but maybe it'll end up being just pointless that's just yeah. what do i know i just play for fun josh smith says it's also not good thank you i'm not a big fan like of this card everyone always said oh a new way to break something like yeah EDH, or in edh there's a trillion ways to break something infinite mana stack combo in edh does not like blow my mind anymore there's, there's too many <laughs> do it all the time brand abolisher is a cool card coming to standard and humans you know slowly getting more and more humans that are looking in the standard environment more and more humans are looking more and more viable in the standard environment i'm a big fan of this card being in standard i am a big fan of the art on this card i am just a big fan of this card like look at this this dude is wide this is a this is a wide wide human like just like just a wide, hold, hold on that's not that that's not even a big enough camera this camera this camera's bigger it's just like wide wide human crazy love this art love this art showing some love to the big fellas and then obviously yep commander card. sorry josh says cedh stacks players rise up drew bet lotus ring seems to be one out of every two cases on the side note i think the card's about as good as lotus veil definitely not worth the pre-sale price no i drew same team same team marcus says gassed up i think we're all on the same page if anyone thinks it disagrees with us on the lotus ring let us know all right we got some new mesas we got some desert synergies going on i'm excited to see deserts come back deserts are cool here's the controversy loot key to everything the uh is teamer right is that right the ward one at the beginning of your upkeep exile the top x cards of your library where x is the number of types of land you control you may play those cards this turn i see that's pretty cool let's go rona welcome to the channel membership thank you for your support everyone cheers everyone let's give a cheers in chat to the ronin's riches thank you so much here for the star wars unlimited big cheers thank you so much for supporting the channel for supporting cardboard finance and this crazy dream that we have over here we appreciate you the loot is i don't know again i look at everything through yeah i think it's just an otc card that's fine yeah that's fine i see i don't know i'm just not su i'm not super high on it i am excited for a lot of this stuff it's going to be a very fun set I'll, I'll be honest with you i cannot wait to dig into it i love the spree mechanic right i love kicker with more text aka spree aka kicker but you don't get the card unless you pay the kicker I am a big fan uh, of this set so far. I think I, if I had to pick a criticism, been around the channel for a while, you know, we're not we're not negative people. We talk. We're probably one of the few channels that stays really positive about most things. Lately, things have been a bit rough, but we stay really positive about most. Things. Let's pick a criticism. Show both sides of the fence here. I don't like the plot mechanic. I think plot is a it's. It's a little hard to digest 
it, it's a little bit hard to digest. It's a little, it's going to be a little bit difficult maybe on, on pre-release night. It's not the hardest thing we've ever seen. There's a lot of reminder text. The reminder text is not like, hey, you know, set this aside. You can cast it as a sorcery. It, at its core, it feels very, very simple. It kind of breaks the flow of magic a little bit. So I, I think I think it's got an opportunity to be pretty cool. But I do say, like, that would be the one thing I'm most skeptical about. Most, I'm most skeptical about going into the next release. How does plot work again? Plot is you pay the plot cost. Set it aside face up, I believe. Say. You may pay through an exile's card from your hand. Yeah, you have to put it face up because you, you have to... All the plot costs vary. You have to you have to validate that you paid the correct cost. So the card will be face up. And then cast it as a sorcery on a later turn without paying its mana cost. And you can only plot as a sorcery, right? So what you do is you, you pay this cost. You set this card face up aside. And then on a later turn in the game, at sorcery speed, you can cast any of your plotted cards, right? Stuff like, it's really interesting. I haven't seen, I think they've done a good job managing plot costs. Most of the plot costs I've seen are, you know, they're, they're pretty high costing, which you want to do. You don't want people to be able to turn one, start generating value for later turns. Like that's dangerous. So stuff like that. And obviously as we get into here, we have the commander spoilers as we're, let's just call them. Let's just call them what they are. They're the commander spoilers. These are these are just commanders and they will make their way into standard but they were designed they these are just commanders. so so any joins up when he jo enters the battlefield deals five damage hmm. Hmm. what dies from taking five damage what dies from taking five damage shelly i mean sorry i was asking you guys what dies from five damage block gets busted with cards like valky i feel like every set we're always trying to bust valky and i'm down i'm here for it i am here i am I'm just here for it. So, you know, all in all, pretty excited. I think this is going to be a really good, really fun set. I can't wait to to add some of these cards to my decks to play. I'm I'm very excited for standard. I gotta say, I'm very. I have been playing a brew on standard. Uh, I've been playing this weird Bardu brew, which really just takes tenacious greed and Obnixilis and tries to get the most value out of them by playing an, an Archfiend. So the stick six for four, you remove an oil counter from it. And when it's got no more oil counters, you lose the game. But it's got a couple sack outlets, ways to deal damage. And you obviously, you know, always kill your own creatures and stuff like that. Some early value, some tenacious greed, some lightning bolts in there. It's been, that brew has been a lot of fun. That's, that's been a lot of fun. There's some synergies too with those cards we were just talking about with uh, the forge as well. Because you create this creature, you attack and stack that creature extra value uh in the second main so that that deck's been a lot of fun so i'm excited to kind of expand on things like that and keep uh keep you know trying to find new and exciting ways to play these cards all in all i'm pretty pumped for outlaws of thunder junction i'll admit i i'm it's something i'm looking forward to i don't mind the cowboy i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it I don't mind though. I don't mind the cowboy. Gosh, that cough is so bitter. How does plot work again? And do outlaw type now affect already printed cards? What do you mean outlaw type? I might have missed. I might have missed part of that conversation, Drew. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think there's a lot you can do with plot, but it's not just magic that's having a big week. Our other TCGs have had a pretty big week as well, and you know. To Magic the Gathering's credit, they've managed to stay on top of the news cycle. They've managed to stay in front of everything, but the other TCGs having a pretty having a pretty good week. So let's take a look at that. We'll head over to cardboardfinance.com, supported by people like Ronan's Riches, who just joined the channel membership. Big shout out and thank you so much for hanging out. The big one being Star Wars Unlimited. Star Wars Unlimited continues. Continues to sell in great numbers, continues to sell a ton of boxes. And if we break it down and view the Spark of Rebellion set, we see good, healthy sales at good, healthy numbers. The draft booster box leads the way. The most sales as we approach a million dollars with products sold on TCG Player, the secondary market. But the pre-release kit and the two-player set are following up. These are products that I love to see 
following up because it shows people are trying to play the game. They are getting involved, put cardboard on the table. I love that. I love this product. We have five more boxes. Channel members you can reach out to me in the Discord or you can email me at hometowntcg at gmail.com. Everything shipped to your door for Star Wars Unlimited. But man, I have been uh, continental United States. Everything shipped. We've had some drama with international shipping and stuff. like It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And so many things can go wrong. So we're trying to stick to the continental United States. Much. I, I, I love the consistency of this product. I love the niche that it fills. I did a video yesterday about how this, this product really fills a niche, right? It feels kind of what Magic set down, the one-on-one -on -one gameplay, the back and forth style of interaction, 60 card, non single like it does all that extremely well. And it's a massive community viable TCG that will stick around for a long time. That to me fills a void that was missing in the community. The other games have tried to step up and fill, were able to grow to you know a meaningful size to support you know consistent communities in anything but major metropolitan areas so you'll love to see stuff like this happen and i think you know picking your area and filling that void is a massive win star wars is doing a great job the box price still remains consistent the box price for for spark of rebellion it's it remains wildly consistent in my opinion i thought for sure this product would be absolutely pumping by now the the reprints the re-release the allocations aren't crazy high which is probably a good thing because as much as we talk about you know the size of this game and filling this void it's still a brand new tcg it's been out for two seconds it's been out for literally two seconds so i i think this does a great job now the bigger question is we knew this was going to be successful right like we knew people were going to buy boxes a star wars that's that's like the least surprising thing universe the question remains how long can we keep going how long can the product stay relevant how much more can they pull us in when they they don't do the first set when you start getting into second third and even the dreaded fourth set how long will we keep going back to that well keep going back to the ip and accepting you know if you a lord vader a darth vader reprint not a reprint new version of Vader and Luke Skywalker and while the universe is vast casual community only knows so many characters so many moments so many things if you keep revisiting those things over and over and over again you might start to lose your casual community that's where you know really being all in on the gameplay comes in handy I'm I'm excited to follow this along like I said the early iteration of this game was not my concern I think this is and I think it's showing that they get it. It's healthy so far. It's doing a really good job at what it's doing. Ronan says, I feel like this game is the best mix of gameplay and collectability. I'm all in for it. Listen, I am here for people in the comment section, in the chat, joining the channel, hanging out, being all in for their favorite team. I've admitted it. I'm a magic guy through and through. I love me the magic, the gathering. It's in my roots. It's what I do. It's something that will probably be with me for the rest of my life. I still love these other TCGs, man. There's still, it's 2024. I don't need to only play one card game. I can play multiple card games. I can have multiple cards in my in my collection. I, I am not closed off to that. And I love that these other games are stepping in to fill kind of some of that space. For me, for other people in the community, it's a massive win. I'm so ready for deep cut characters. The Clone Wars Heavy is going to be the death of my wallet. And hardcore fans are 100% going all in all, pretty excited. The one the one thing we are going to avoid, we're going to avoid this on this channel. Want everybody, want everyone in the chat right now to give me your word. Look at me. Look at me. First of all, cheers. Good morning. A little more coffee. Second, we will be avoiding the this is going to take over Magic the Gathering. This is going to be the death of Magic. This is going to take over this aspect of magic, whether it be competitive play, conventions, whether it be back cracking or collectability, it's good. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We've seen that move. You know how that goes. 
Pokemon and Magic didn't sit around and gather millions and millions of people in their community for the better part of 20 to 30 years, lose market share that matters to a TCG that's been out for five seconds. We're not doing that. Not doing it. Kyle says, my favorite TCG. Now, Kyle, let's go. First of all, I don't know if I've ever seen you in the live stream. Kyle, welcome. Thank you for hanging out. Ralph says, every new TCG is called the MTG Killer. Ralph the Gnome, you were called the GOAT earlier today. Josh Smith says, everyone forgets to... Oh, back to Thunder Junction. Josh, I missed this comment. I missed this comment. Is, uh, everyone was screaming for, about Cowboy Jace for years. He gave you nerds what you wanted. Now everyone is salty. No, no salt here. No salt here. I am into the Cowboy theme. Yoko, be loco. Good morning. I'm into the Cowboy theme. And Rob said, going to my first ever for outlaws let's go rob uh, let's go let's go you love to see it so all in all very high on star wars it's doing a great job at what it's doing stability over the long term is the question so far orkana has been the answer to stability over the long term this product has done extremely well we see the most recent set into the the box opening coming today or tomorrow. Channel member Chad, and I got to tell you, I normally don't spoil the box opening. I'm going to spoil the box opening. Our buddy Chad hit it big. Our buddy Chad opened an Inklands box, and our buddy Chad went, what, what do the kids call it? Sicko mode. Our buddy Chad popped off in the box opening. It was pain. A big shout out to, to Chad. Those cards on their way with some some goodies in there. If you bought cards for me recently, I think I've included MetaZoo packs in most orders. So you got, you got a little bonus. Them. Yoga said, "Did you notice the puppy planeswalker from Infinity is worth more than the shock lands from Infinity?" Somebody pointed that out to me. I don't know if it was you, Yoko. If you DM'd me, and I'm not, I don't, I don't remember you. Someone DM'd me about this. What's the the puppy planeswalker? Let's go. We're gonna check this out. We're gonna go back to that. But we're gonna go back to Lorcana. I we gotta check it out. Um, Unfinity. Uh. Yeah. Comet Stellar Pup. Hush. Not the Galaxy Foils. Not the Galaxy Foils. Yeah. Uh. Kitchen Table TCG. Good morning. Right here to end the live stream. Kitchen Table TCG. Showing up in the close. Comet's going nuts. I won't play Comet in anything I ever play. But I think I have one or two. So let's go. Let's go. The Lorcana again, kind of answering that stability question that uh, Star Wars has yet. We're going to ask of Star Wars. We're going to ask that Star Wars TCG. Hey, can you be stable? Can you keep us coming back? Like, that was the big question here. Now set four. Uh, what what an opportunity! What a time for Louis to be in chat because set four is coming, and you never know the consistency with which these products sell. Now, Rise of the Floodborne a little bit, and First Chapter a lot. We have to remember that there were these massive price swings. The reason we saw, you know, a second surge of the product is because of the reprint, the availability in the box coming off that four hundred dollar price point. But even then. The first chapter is, uh, I mean, let, let's just call it healthy. I, I don't know if this is good. I don't think it is. I don't think we want box prices to go up in the, you know, same 365 days that the product was printed, but I don't know, maybe. All in all, this has been a wild morning. Ronan says, also, I sold my Elsa Enchanted months ago for 800 I thought it did amazing. Check the price now. It is blown away. Listen, $800 for that Elsa. I, I don't think that's, I don't think that's anything to be sad about like i understand that it's gone up in price but you you got a good price for a card that you weren't interested in having anymore like i i know i know it's hard oh, oh it's it dude it's tough when you sell something and then it like pumps but like hey a that's the nature of the business that's how the game works and b you still got 800 dollars for a piece of all in all not the worst day in the world all right guys this has been awesome i have to get to work so let's finish off the bitter, extra caffeinated, hyper wild coffee that I'm drinking. If you haven't yet, I will be posting 
about this, including a picture of the, the pod and stuff it came from in the uh, in the Discord. Sorry, I, I just realized it says this beer mug says cheers. You can put coffee in it too. Little like words here before I pour my coffee out. Dude, it's crazy. I'll post the Discord in the coffee crew section of the Discord channel. There's a link here. If you haven't joined the Discord channel yet, consider joining the Discord. Come hang out. We talk about everything that we can possibly think of from conspiracy theories to TCGs to coffee. I am going to start trying to get the coffee crew together. A group of dedicated users posting our morning caffeine to get us through because as we get older, back hurts more. That caffeine really helps. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Big shout out, uh, Ronan, for joining the channel membership today. Big shout out to the Armad and Homie Kitchen Table TCG. If you haven't checked him out on YouTube yet, it's Kitchen Table TCG is the name of his YouTube channel. Surprisingly, the same name as his YouTube name in the chat that you are all currently in. That felt unnecessary to say. You can check out his channel. He makes a lot of fun content. I like to think it's almost as good as my content. Pretty, pretty good content creator. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Good morning, Marcus, Yoko. Thanks for hanging out, Josh. Good morning, Baron of TCGs, always hanging out. Drew, welcome. Kyle, first time we saw you in the chat. Thank you guys again. Oh, go, go lightly, Tommy. You know what? I could never read that name. And finally, I just sat back and took time, and it was much easier than I thought it was going to be. We got some old world Micmac uh, popping in. Rob, boom, Sama, Sandro. Welcome and thanks again. Uh, Greg popped in early this morning. Night Flux was here. Wizard Collections, which used to be Nick, but is now Wizard Collections. I think I had everyone. If I missed you, oh, Min Mindagus. Mindagus. Also, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Thank you for hanging out. Until next time, you guys know me. My name is Josh, and we will see you around. All right, everyone.